Okay, so um, as you see, you're probably thinking, now, why am I wearing a jacket? And why do I look like I'm actually going out? Because I am going out tonight. It is Saturday. So I just wanted to post a really quick live here uh, just to um, share a few thoughts about if you were to start, what would you do from day one to day 14? And maybe today 30. Um, now the reason why we're actually going out, I'll, I'll just finish that story, is uh, I was doing the 14 day no sugar challenge and that uh, and uh, Mother's Day and my birthday was happening during the challenge but because I was pretty focused in on just making sure that I finished all 14 days we have delayed that so we will be going out tonight uh, I think we're just going to find a nice Malaysian place in Sydney. So I might actually, maybe I might do a live or, you know, definitely post some pictures if I can um, um, when we're actually out in Sydney tonight. So that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, and I don't think you can see my board, um, let me bring it up. Bring it up. Get a bit of a reflection. Day one, day 14. Okay. All right. Now, if I was to actually do this uh, weight loss health journey um, today, I would actually change up a few things, but there are some basic things that I would, um, that I would actually stick to. And I think the, uh, probably the best suggestion, the advice I could actually give here is just an ordinary person, right? I'm not medically trained, no. Just somebody who wants to actually, um, you know, lose some weight at the time and be healthier. So I would do the 14 day no sugar challenge. Um, now that's actually posted already in my, on this page and in the group, because I think this is actually, um, I'm broadcasting this into the private group as well. Um, so I would just follow that for 14 days to see how you go. Now, uh, probably a couple, see, when I first started, it was actually even stronger than that. I mean, I had no meat and uh, no dairy and also, I did the no starches which is potato rice and um, pasta so that sugar the 14 day no sugar challenge is actually um, not as strict as that one but I would actually start there as the routine uh, as the actual challenge for your first 14 days because even if you do not do any exercise I I only did very light exercise in those first 30 days but even if you don't do anything you are going to see some improvements you're probably going to see some pretty big weight loss which it's typ typical in the early days because of the um, uh, you lose the water content which is basically you know just the water weight and then you put that back on when you um, start to refeed again but uh, if you're coming off the no, if you go on a no sugar, no carb, which is basically no breads, you know, no toast on that one. Um, and I'm not even talking about, you know, going on gluten free bread. No, nothing. No flour, no white flour, brown flour type of thing. Uh, no processed food, you know, so food from the boxes. So you're basically just eating um, healthy whole foods, whether they are with meat, with fish, vegetables and salad, then definitely if you follow that, even if you don't exercise, you will lose weight. Um, and I'm not just me personally actually saying that because I experienced it. Uh, a lot of people who have actually gone through and done exactly that and just removed those things from their diet um, did exactly the same thing. So I would do that for the uh, first 14 days. So the 14 day no sugar challenge no sugar I keep moving this up so you can see it 
important thing. Um, the second one, oh, and also what I will do, I'll try and post under the comments a link to the journals that um, I created. Basically, they're PDFs. So if you want to print them off and then write on them, just you know, just uh, how each day went, because it's very good to actually take your beginning weight measurement um, or your body measurements, just the main vital ones like the waist or the hips, um, you know, just basic. And then you can just measure your progress uh, throughout the 14 days. Um, so, but listen to your body. If you feel like you a bit sort of like don't feel so well, then by all means, you know, Consult with your doctor, you know, do do things because I'm trying to just sort of say this is something that you can actually do that I did. Um, so if you're looking for a place to start, it's a good place to start. All right, so the, there's PDFs of the journal. So just to sort of track your progress throughout the thing. Um, and then... Taking it from 14, 14 to 30 days, I'd say just take one day at a time. See how you go after this challenge because it's a mindset thing too to see whether you, one, will actually uh, decide to do it and then two, every day of those 14 days um, may be quite a sort of a mental struggle for, for some. Um, other ones might be more like a physical struggle because your body will actually be responding to like what's going on but that's that's what I would actually um, suggest as a good place to actually start now what I'll also do um, and I did post my first one last night is um, of me in the kitchen <laughs> And it's in the actual private group so by all means if you uh, wish to join the private group um, then there'll be a link somewhere you can just join but um, I've been posting me in the kitchen actually cooking a few things and last night I posted um, what I cooked the previous night which was oh what was that oh it was a chicken mignon <laughs> um, and then the dessert that I had I also did another video, but my phone ran out of um, storage space, so um, Leo actually took it on his phone, and he's on the Apple, and I'm on the, you know, Samsung, so got to try and get the rest of the part two, part three videos from him. Um, but last night's dinner is um, the stuffed capsicum, uh, which I did with mince and the vegetables, and then I stuffed the capsicum. Uh, but I also baked some more of my favorite keto chop chip muffins. So you're going to see a video of me actually doing that as well. Uh, so I'll just get into the groove of actually videoing what I cook downstairs uh, in the kitchen so that you can actually sort of get an idea also about what you can cook and just how fast and how simple it is. Um, to actually do so there's not much time that's actually spent um, in the kitchen uh, making your meals and things so apart from that um, let me just answer some other really some questions that was asked um, yeah eat things in moderation during the challenge ideally it is a challenge so it's really sort of seeing um, how you respond mentally and physically to no sugar, no flour, no carb. Um, I can't quite recall about the dairy. It, it will be just a matter of thing, but um, if it actually is, the dairy is actually there, then I'd say still in moderation. Don't go overboard with all the other things that you are allowed to actually consume. I think so. Um, yeah, apart from that, good luck to all those who are actually um, going to try it. Please post if you can, because I found that it wasn't until you actually publicly say what you're doing or share what you're doing, does it actually make put the commitment in you to actually go ahead and do it. So by all means, if you want to post your progress, whether it's in the 
the private um, group or on this particular page, uh, the Eat Healthy Fight Diabetes page, then do so. Um, we're all very supportive and encouraging here. So uh, good luck. Um, go ahead, post your progress. Um, I'm here to support you. If you've got any questions, then by all means, we'll just throw it up there. <laughs> if it's not me, there'll be somebody else that, that um, can probably actually give a bit of suggestion or advice or support um, while you do that. So that's what I would suggest if you're actually looking at this thinking, how should I start this? All right, so that's just my um, suggestion. All right, so um, I'm going to go out now because they're probably waiting for me and um, I will post a few pics and maybe a video um, of Sydney tonight, Saturday, Saturday, whatever this date is. <laughs> All right, okay, bye.